Today in this video we will try to show you how to install Linux Mint operating system inside Synology NAS and use it. Let's get started. As you can see, I am now on the Synology NAS desktop. In this case, the very first thing you need to do is install the Virtual Machine Manager. If you haven't installed it yet, go to the Package Manager, scroll down a bit, and you will find it there. I'm trying to show it on the screen. From there, you can install it, and then we will move on to the next step. Now open the Virtual Machine Manager and go to the Image tab. To save time, I've already downloaded the Linux Mint ISO file. If you haven't, just search Linux Mint on Google, visit their official website, and download the installation ISO. Once downloaded, upload it to Synology. Click the Add button, locate your ISO file, and it will be uploaded here. Now, what we need to do is create a virtual machine. For that, go to the second option from the top, Virtual Machine. From there, click on the Create button. After clicking it, a new window will appear where we'll select the Linux operating system. In the next step, we need to choose a storage. If your system has multiple storage options, you can select your preferred one. In my case, I have only one storage available, so I'm selecting that and clicking the Next button. Next, we'll set up the system configuration. You can configure this based on your preferences or what your system supports. It depends on the resources and capability of your system. For this video, I'm using a minimal configuration just to demonstrate the process. You'll get an idea from this, but there's no need to follow it exactly. You can go with either an upgraded or a downgraded configuration according to your needs. Oh, you can now see this screen. Our virtual system has been successfully set up. Now, we will power on the system, and once it boots up, you will click the connect button. After powering on, please wait for a short while around 5 to 10 seconds, and then click the connect button. After clicking send connect you will see a boot screen. From there, select the option labeled Start Linux Mint using this option, you will start the Linux Mint operating system. You can now see that our Linux Mint operating system has successfully booted up. Inside the Virtual Machine Manager, we can monitor the system's usage CPU, RAM, disk, etc. You can now see that the Linux Mint operating system is running smoothly here. Even though it's running on a virtual machine, it doesn't feel like one at all it behaves just like a real machine. Another interesting thing is that we're using it through a browser, yet it doesn't feel like it's browser-based at all. As you can see, all the menu functions are working perfectly, and all the essential software comes preloaded, even though this is a live version booted without installation. However, for permanent use, you must install it. So, let's proceed with the installation process. To begin the installation, you will see an icon at the very top left corner that says Install Linux Mint. Double-click on that icon to start the installation process. At the beginning of the installation window, it will ask you to select your language in my case, I am selecting English. Next, you will be asked to select a keyboard layout, I am choosing the US English version of the keyboard layout. Then, it will ask for permission to install multimedia codecs, I am granting that permission and proceeding to the next option. After that, it will ask you to choose the installation type I am selecting the first option and clicking the next button. Next, it will ask about your location since I am in Bangladesh, I am selecting Bangladesh as my location. Then, it will prompt you to create a user ID and password. In this case, make sure to create a password that meets their requirements properly. If everything is done correctly, clicking continue will begin the installation process. I am fast forwarding the screen recording of the installation process to make this video shorter. Now on your screen, you can see that the file copying for the installation has started. I have fast forwarded this part. You may choose to skip this section if you want, since it only shows the file copying process. In my case, this part took quite a bit of time, around 25 minutes. For you, the duration will depend on your system configuration and your machine specifications. It also partially depends on your internet connection, as in some cases certain files are copied from the internet. Now on your screen, you can see that the file copying process has been completed, and after the installation is finished, the installed Linux Mint system is booting up. 
Once the boot is complete, you will need to log in using the password you had set during the installation process. Now, as you can see here, a welcome message is being displayed. Along with that, some updated information about Linux Mint is being shown. This welcome screen is quite helpful, especially for new users. It provides quick access to important post-installation tasks such as updating the system, setting up system snapshots, managing drivers, and customizing the appearance. Linux Mint continues to improve with each release, offering a more stable, lightweight, and user-friendly experience, especially for those transitioning from Windows. The Update Manager has also become smarter, helping users keep their systems secure without being intrusive. First steps, here you'll find recommended actions such as checking for system updates, setting up system restore points with time shift, installing multimedia codecs, choosing a desktop layout, and customizing the appearance. Documentation, quick access to Linux Mint's official user guide and release notes. Help and support, links to community forums, chat rooms, and the official troubleshooting resources. Contribute, options to donate or get involved with the Linux Mint community. News and updates, sometimes shows announcements or tips from the Linux Mint team. Linux Mint has built a reputation for being one of the most beginner-friendly Linux distributions, especially for those coming from a Windows background. Its cinnamon desktop environment, the default, offers a traditional layout that feels familiar yet highly customizable. Performance, lightweight and efficient, even on older hardware. Stability, based on Ubuntu LTS, which means long-term support and a very stable experience. User experience, polished UI, clear menus, and minimal bloat. Software manager, easy access to thousands of free applications with a simple one-click install. Update manager, smart and non-intrusive, with built-in safety measures to avoid breaking the system. Community, active and helpful forums and documentation. Overall, Linux Mint is a great choice for users who want a reliable, fast, and clean Linux experience right out of the box for Synology NAS Virtual Machine.